All right, it is day five of our Sumba trip and it is time to rise and shine to wake everyone up. We are all exhausted. <laughs> time already? Yeah, it's time. It's time to go on an adventure, girl. Day five, here we go. <laughs> wild adventure because as you know Sumba is very remote <laughs> and that is why we sometimes need to nap in the car <laughs> to recharge our energy and today we are going to explore Sumba all over again and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. seen in the clouds yeah. oh, wow so many of them that's yeah. wow millions yeah hello <laughs> that's so cute a little local village and the road is again very bumpy as you can see <laughs> holding on for dear life <laughs> Right, we arrived at our location. The waterfall is called Air Terjun Wai Marang. Wai Marang, if I pronounce it correctly. This is again so stunning. It's about half an hour hike down to the waterfall and we have beautiful mountains in the back. So I'm really curious how this is gonna look like. Hello, oh my God. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, hi. Wish knew the dark whisper. <laughs> oh, look at these. They're all, oh, that is amazing. Look at all the colors as well. Look at how adorable. There's so many of them as well. We have three white ones, a black and white, another black and white, and the brown one here. Oh, little dog paradise. Let's have a look at the view first, because there are so many mountains here. Again, this waterfall feels like it's located in the middle of nowhere. I love this. This is super interesting. Big Ben London. Oh, that's so cool. Big Ben London is more than 12.973.10 kilometers away. Eiffel Tower, Paris, Colosseum, Roma. It's all on here. Oh, that is so cool. And this is the view. Look at how green. We have another dock here, but it's so green again. And we have a wild mash here. <laughs> mash in the wild. <laughs> First things first, before we hike down to this waterfall, it's Makan time. This is our lunch. Can you please put off <laughs> my food? Can you please stop touching my food? <laughs> no. Well, here you have it. We have food time because this is what we picked up before. Because like I told many times already, we are in a very remote area where there is no food, no water options. So that's why we need to get our food right now and hydrate a lot. We have this little one begging for food. Maybe we'll give him something later. Which news to dog whisper starting from today. <laughs> Look at all the hats <laughs> standing there. <laughs> and the black one over there. You feeding them? Mm, yes, I will. <laughs> one by one. Step, uh, one by one. One by one. Everyone gets his you turn. Have it. Now you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have? It's the cricket. It's one of the crickets? Yeah. Oh my god, it's still alive? Yeah. They're huge. Mash! Mash! <laughs> Don't! 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 <laughs> oh my god! 
I quickly wanted to say a huge thank you to Kali Case for sponsoring this video. The Kali Case waterproof phone cases have been my to go to for all my waterfall and water content during this trip in Sumba. They provide phone cases which are waterproof, durable, and they stay afloat. The cases are made with two layers of thick, durable padding and ultra strong, low gel PVC plastic that surrounds and protects your phone. This makes capturing content while you are, for example, in Sumba by just like me so much fun because you can drop your phone and it will still stay afloat your phone is 100% safe and the content is simply super beautiful because you barely see that there's a case surrounding your camera I absolutely love using these phone cases because they are so light they're easy to travel with and they protect my phone at all times and especially when I'm exploring a beautiful island like this with all the beautiful beaches lagoons and rivers I simply need my Cali case I can't imagine traveling without my Cali case anymore it's super simple to put it in your bag like I said it doesn't weigh a thing the cases come in different colors and sizes so make sure to check out the link in my description to see which color and which size you want and if you use my code gypsy and sneakers 20 you get 20% off so check out the link in my description below and right now let's move on with the video oh, what are they here under the windshields oh no way wow oh you can't oh, oh my god <gasps> oh here okay oh wow oh that's a lot of crickets in there yeah, yeah. oh my god yeah, yeah cricket, cricket satay. satay yeah exactly we can eat cricket satay yeah. now new dish new sumba dish cricket wow. satay so many of them okay are we gonna start the hike vamonos a la playa Actually not going to the beach, but to Erterjun Waimarang. This is the start here. Bye Mosa, see you! <laughs> well, good thing today I have my adventure sandals on again. <laughs> it's actually raining a little bit. Yeah, this is good. A little bit of hiking. We've been this trip a lot in the car because that is the thing here in Sumba. The distances are quite big. It's almost every time an hour or one and a half hour in between locations. Right, we're going a bit deeper into the forest now, as you can see. We still have a path to walk on, so that's good. But it's getting a little bit humid, I have to say. But it's so beautiful. Okay, we changed the walking route into stairs now it looks like this and it's actually the first time since we started to walk that i hear the waterfall so that's a good sign we're starting to get closer and closer but it's very humid here and there are some mosquitoes and i think leeches <laughs> yeah this is gonna be an intense way up i think Whew. right this is pretty difficult with all the trees it's pretty steep as well. The waterfall is, I think, pretty deep down. Oh my God, and it's slippery. <laughs> oh, this is stunning. It's like, it looks so hidden. It's like a hidden gem. There's nothing surrounding it. And I see baby blue water. But in the meantime, I have to dodge sticks like this because it is wild. What can I say? But oh my God, this place, it looks so fairy tale like already. Oh, that's epic. It always amazes me how there can be such blue water within the middle of the jungle that's so cool okay funny thing i thought we were here we're not we have to cross this in order to get to the waterfall this is so cool look at how blue this is guys and then this is where we're gonna cross up there up there and then there and you know what i'm just gonna bring you guys along with me <laughs> Even if it's super slippery and a bit dangerous and my balance is not good. Here we go. It should be fine though. Okay, 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 okay. I got this. I got this, I got this. Next are the steps with a lot of water though. Oh my God, how cool. Woo. This is epic, yeah. This is crystal clear blue. I haven't seen blue water like this in such a long time. Wow, it's only getting better and better. These are the steps. Oh my god, it's like a canyon and it's very slippery again here. We have a lot of mud. Ooh, so much mud. Wow. Oh my god. Wow, as if a human designed this. <laughs> Thank you.
waterfall is so amazing. We just had a dip. We were swimming here and it is so serene. It is so beautiful. And the thing that blows my mind is our guide just told us that this waterfall has been found in 2015 by a local guy. So someone was literally walking here and they just bumped into this waterfall and this blue lagoon. And that is not long at all. That is only seven years ago. And as you can see, we literally have this whole waterfall just to ourselves. And that is the magical thing about Sumba that places like this are still pretty undiscovered and have them to yourself, which is such a good feeling and this is magic. How good is this place, Mash? So good. So good. Yes. So good. Mash is dancing and we have to leave unfortunately now, but this place is true paradise. Wow. To all good things come an end and unfortunately we have to leave this place. But this was magical and I think finding these hidden gems here in Sumba is what makes this island so special because we do have beautiful waterfalls in Bali, don't get me wrong, but because here it is so undiscovered and everything is so raw and there's no tourism, it makes it way more special to visit these places. But right now we have to climb up. The air here is very thick, it's like very hard to breathe. So. I feel like this is gonna be, my breath is, I'm already out of breath. I feel like this is gonna be a pretty tough hike to go up, I'm afraid, because there are lots of stairs and it's half an hour hiking. We made it to the top, but oh my god, completely out of breath. I'm gonna sit down for a bit. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> and we made it back to the car. I was so tired walking up there. Almost couldn't breathe anymore. That only shows that my condition is not too good. But we made it, we're now back in the car and we're on the way to spot number two. We arrived there pretty early, so we had the place to ourselves, which was really nice. I love it. And now it's time to drive again. How beautiful this road is. So nice. Like all these little houses here and a beautiful but bumpy road again. Oh my god, I just woke up from a really long nap, as you can maybe see in my hair. And look at where we are, in true paradise. Still need to wake up a little bit, but this place is simply insanely beautiful and full of palm trees. And what I can see already is that the water is so stunning, crystal clear. And the beautiful palm trees, this cannot be more tropical. Right now, I am in one of the most stunning beaches ever in Sumba Island and I am using again my Kali case because as you can see, I am in the water and these are one of the few shots that I took with the Kali case. We just finished a very good mee goreng and a kalapa, a coconut here. And I've just been enjoying Sumba so much. This beach is insane. Like how blue it is. I haven't seen a beach like this in such a long time. And it is also the temperature here is very nice. It is dry. It's not too humid. And this is stunning. There's going to be a beautiful sunset here later on. But unfortunately, we don't have enough time to stay here because it is a three or four hour drive back to where we have 
to go tonight so unfortunately we couldn't spend too much time here which makes me sad because it's so stunning but definitely this beach right here is such a must if you come to Sumba and also for sunset it is simply amazing the fisher boats here it's so serene and you don't have to share it with lots of people it's epic it's so funny because I've been walking around here on the beach for quite some time now and <laughs> There are a lot of local houses, so people actually live here on the beach. And I got invited into a house, people were playing poker, but I wasn't having my camera with me, so I couldn't show you guys. But here is one other house as well. They have pigs here, like the really big ones. Hello. Hey. Hello. Come on. Come on. They're so cute and so nice. So these are the two big ones. And then here they have the little ones, which are adorable. Hello. Hi! Hey! It's adorable. So here they have the pigs. And then this is so interesting because here they have a water well where they actually get the water out in here using this. How cool is this, guys? That is for me so interesting to see how this works. They even have a pump and they have this wheel which they use to fill the bucket and then put it back out again. And then here are the houses with the beautiful palm trees in the back and that's where the ocean is. And here the people are living. That is so cool and so wild. This is living on the beach next level. It is simply stunning. Bye piggies. Oh my god, he's literally saying hi to me. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, I just wanted to show that because I think that is living remotely on its very best. Let's see if I can find Vishnu and Mesh. Are we ready to go, guys? Yep, yep, you yep. enjoying yourself here? Always. I just found the house with pigs. I Guys were playing poker. Kids were <laughs> playing. I got my sneakers on. I went adventuring. Now it's time to go back to where we started. Yeah. Time to leave paradise. I'm so sad. Look at the palm trees above me. I can't believe it. <laughs> this is true paradise. So beautiful. Oh, Mash, I don't want to leave. And now, four hour drive. Yes. <laughs> All right, and it is four or even five hours later. We were so tired. We slept almost all the way in the car. And right now, we arrived at Ala Hotel, which is back in Tambulaka. And right now, it is time to sleep. And I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you want to see more of Sumba, please do not forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you on my next adventure.